Hi, this video is going to show you how to super glide 100% of the time with config files. It's also going to show you how the config files work and what they're doing to make you super glide 100% of the time. I also, if I remember, might include a few spots and ways to use super gliding combined with other techniques to utilize them better. So, on with that, good luck! The first step of being able to super glide 100% of the time is getting the files and then getting them into Apex. To do that, first you're going to have to go to the OneDrive that I have, not OneDrive, Google Drive, that I have linked in the description, right clicking on the folder and hitting download. If you're cringe and worry about viruses, you can look what's in the front folder, you can see all the text that's written, it's all normal shit. You would right click, hit download. Depending on your browser, your download will go to different places. I assume that you're not fucking brain dead, and you should be able to figure that out yourself. So go to the file location, unzip it by hitting right clicking and hitting extract all. Then you'll get the actual folder with the actual CFG files. Hold on to that for the time being. For now, go to Steam, go to Apex, and right click, hit properties, and then go to local files and hit browse. If you're on origin, figure it, figure it out yourself champ, I believe in you. It's not that complicated. Then once you're in the files, go to CFG and drag the other files that you just downloaded, the ones from the Google Drive, into there. Like that. Once you've done that, uh, if you want to change any of the binds, oh, also, whenever opening these files by double clicking, it for the first time it might ask you what you want to open it with. Make sure you select Notepad. So if you want to change any of the binds, uh, you would just edit it like I'm about to do. So instead of having V to start the script, I would like to have space. So I'm just going to write in space. And then once you save it, I'm pretty, yeah, you don't have to edit any of the other ones. You only have to edit the first one for what initiates the script. Um, if you want to be weird and change mouse wheel down and shit like that, you can do that also here, but I assume none of you want to do that. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is create an autoexec.cfg. To do this, you would right click new text document. But before doing this, it, as you see for me, it says .txt. I bet for a lot of you, it doesn't. That's because you have, by default, Windows hides common file name extensions. So what you're gonna wanna do is if you're on Windows 11 or Windows 10, I bet it's similar, but not exactly the same. You're gonna wanna go to view, then there's a show thing and it says file name extensions. You're going to want to make sure that it's checked so you see the document as new text document.txt. If it does not show the txt, you're doing something wrong. If you're on Windows 10, I don't remember what it looks like, but just look up how to show common file name extensions if you did not, if it was not clear. So with this document, you're going to want to rename it to autoexec.cfg. It'll give you a warning, you're fine. For me, it's asking it to change the name to have two in it, but that's because I already have one. So, just name it to autoexec.cfg. With this file, you're going to want to go into it, and then write in plus exec, then the name of the first superglide file. For that is it is just superglide1.cfg, so plus exec space superglide1, I spelled it wrong, 1. .cfg. So with this, you just want to save the document, and that should be the end of it. Here's mine. Mine's a little bit different because I also have neo strafing in there. It honestly does not matter. If you're just trying to super glide, just do what I did before. Neo strafing, I have another video on it if you want to learn how to neo strafe. It's pretty detailed. I think I did a pretty good job. Uh, and these files, what they do, the super glide files, is 
when you hit space, it binds your space to jump and then starts the, it binds your space to jump and it also binds a uh, mouse wheel down to jump. And at the same time, it starts the Super Glide 2 file. Super Glide 2 will bind mouse wheel down to jump and it will also set your FPS max to 30 and then it will also start Super Glide 3. Super Glide 3 will bind mouse wheel down to crouch, set FPS max to 144. If you do not have a 144 hertz monitor you can change that to 60 or whatever you want. You just change the 144 right here. You don't need to. I'm just saying that you can. And then it'll start the first file again. And then the first file will just uh, bind uh, mouse wheel down to jump again. So if you want to change any of those values, you can. Instead of space, you might want to have V. I just like it as space because it's the most thing that I'm comfortable with. The next thing you want to do is you're going to go into Apex, hit Properties, in general, and you will see launch options. In launch options, you will want to put plus exec space auto exec. This is just telling Apex to start the auto exec file, which is telling uh, the auto exec file is telling Apex to start Super Glide 1. It's, it's weird. I don't know. And then after this, it should work. If you don't have any, uh, like all the mechanical stuff should be working. If you have any questions, uh, go to the comments. Now I'm going to show you how to actually do it in game with some examples of its potential. So after installing the config files, you're going to need to actually be able to super glide in game because just having them installed is not going to make you a professional super glider. So first, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go up to a wall hit whatever key you assign to start the super glide. That would be the key that I changed to space in the file superglide1.cfg. By default, the ones that I sent to you, I believe are set to V. So when you hit it, it'll initiate the sequence. If you scroll down once, it'll make you jump and set your max FPS to 30. And if you scroll down again, it'll make you crouch. So with all of this, it narrows down the time that you can super glide. Because usually if you're at 144 frames per second, trying to super glide, you have about a two frame window to jump at the right time. But with the config file, you have about like a 10 or eight frame window, which is a lot easier. So in practice, what you'll need to do is you'll need to initiate the climb with the key that you set and then scroll wheel down at the apex of the wall. The apex of the wall is usually about when your screen stops shaking. So right when your screen stops shaking, you scroll wheel down and it'll make you super glide. You can pair super gliding with a lot of different things like tap strafing, neo strafing, and all the different things. I have a video on neo strafing if you wanna learn how to do that. I'm pretty sure I already mentioned that to you. But fuck you, I will self promote as much as possible. So. If you're pairing it with tap strafing, you can tap strafe out of it like that, or movement redirect. It's not that hard if you know how to uh, tap strafe already, but if you don't, I'm probably going to make a video on that pretty soon, because there aren't already another 100,000 telling you how to do it. Uh, and that's about it. Now I'm going to show you a few videos of people absolutely breaking ankles with super gliding and tap strafing and all of these different things combined. So you can just outplay people because you don't know how to aim and you only know how to move. So good luck.
Oh, my fucking God, bro, I can't 